Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Sometimes this event is termed commencement exercises as it marks the beginning of a new phase in a student's life. Today we celebrate this amazing class. It is my pleasure to introduce Mark Finnegan, the salutatorian of your class. Good afternoon. My name is Mark Finnegan, and I would like to welcome Father Scott, Dr. Gear, all parents and guardians, administrators, teachers, counselors, coaches, staff, and most especially the class of 2020 to our virtual graduation. I wish we could celebrate this important milestone in person because it's really odd speaking to an empty church. No one could have predicted that this was how our senior year would end, online, without those defining events we've been looking forward to all year. The energy in Donovan on that last day of in-person classes was very off, like it was the last day of the school year before summer vacation, except there was no happy buzz among the students. As we left the building for what would be the last time, someone jokingly said, happy summer break, everyone. Unfortunately, COVID-19 did prevent us from returning to in-person classes, but we can re still remember fondly all of the awesome times we had in Donovan for those four years. During our freshman orientation, the upperclassmen told us that time really does fly by. And by the time we became upperclassmen in charge of that orientation, I realized that high school did pass in the blink of an eye. Throughout our time as Griffins, we have had the opportunity to strengthen our faith while making a difference in our community. As a member of NHS, I help tutor some of the lower classmen in various topics, and I know how important and beneficial it can be to discuss course material with your peers. By working with students with various learning styles, tutoring helped prepare me for all different types of collaboration in the future. I know I'll participate in study groups in college, and I recommend that you guys do as well. God is at work throughout all of our many service groups, showing us that there are people in need of help all around us, even within our own school. The class of 2020 is quite a special class. One of our defining features is our unity. When necessary, we knew how to mobilize, especially during our Spirit Week competitions. Winning two out of four almost anything goes rounds, even during freshman year, when all the other grades wanted us to lose, shows how we handle adversity. We stand up to it and triumph. No other class could lead in every activity leading up to the competition and still clinch the title without blowing up our egos. Likewise, in our current situation, all we can do is work together, six feet apart, to halt the progression of COVID-19. I want to express my deepest gratitude towards some incredible people that made high school such an awesome experience. Thank you to the wonderful teachers, faculty, coaches, counselors, and administration of Donovan Catholic who have provided such a safe and welcoming community for us for the past four years. Our teachers are such a positive role model for us, encouraging their students to reach their full potential both in and out of the classroom. Donovan has been such a great place for us, but we couldn't have attended without the support of our parents and guardians. Thank you so much to all of the parents and guardians of the class of 2020 for recognizing our potential and for sacrificing so much by sending us to Donovan to explore it even more. Finally, I want to thank you guys, the class of 2020, for being such a great group of people. For the past four years, some of us going back even longer than that, we spent the great the stressful and the not so great times of high school together, and I still cannot believe it's all ending. In the upcoming year, we will move into new and challenging environments, whether it be the workforce, college, or even the military. Time will pass as it always does, and we will move on. No matter where we go, we will always have our roots to come back to and draw strength from. Donovan Catholic. Thank you, class of 2020, for an amazing high school experience. I wish the best for each and every one of you, and may the next chapter of your lives bring joy, laughter, and good health. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, Mark, on your terrific accomplishments. I'm honored to present to you the Salutatorian Award. Congratulations, members of the class of 2020. Circumstances may have changed the way graduation is happening this year, but it has not diminished the pride and joy I have for this amazing class. 
Like some of you, I'm a big New York Giants football fan. Sorry, Eagles fans. So when I saw that iHeartRadio was producing a series of commencement addresses, and one of them was given by Eli Manning, I knew I had to listen. For those of you who don't know who Eli Manning is, he was the starting quarterback for many years for the New York football Giants team. Despite all this, recently Eli found himself no longer in the starting lineup. He was assigned as a backup quarterback. In his commencement address, Eli revealed the following. You see, I don't mind being in awkward situations or doing things I don't necessarily want to do, like becoming the Giants' backup quarterback after winning two Super Bowls and walking away with the MVP. Embracing awkward is worth cultivating because life, like this graduation, rarely goes as planned. Manning went on to say, don't downgrade your dreams to fit today's halting reality. Don't let the new normal be an excuse for standing in place. It's up to you not to become the class that never was. Manning continued, if you haven't already, it's time to discover your own unique grade of rocket fuel and to blast off. Trust yourself. Your future trajectory is up to you. These have surely been awkward times and the way the class of 2020 has responded is commendable. Your four years at Donovan Catholic have prepared you for many things. The skills that you acquired both inside and outside of the classroom have proven to be invaluable now and will be even more vital in your future endeavors. And your unique grade of rocket fuel has been mixed with the formula of the gospel message and the teachings of Jesus. It is a fuel that you will never run out of. One thing that we've relearned in our times of confinement is that we are social beings who want and need other people. We thirst for community. You've been a part of a special community called Donovan Catholic High School. And although that community was abruptly altered in March, you will always have years worth of memories to call upon and you will always have a place to come home to. Remember, once a griffin, always a griffin. God bless. And now, I present the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Victoria Federico. Good afternoon to the Donovan Catholic community, Father Scott, Dr. Gear, and the administration, teachers, coaches and counselors, parents and guardians, and most especially, the class of 2020. It's with great honor that I'm able to address my classmates and all those who have gathered today to support us on this momentous occasion. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to start by thanking our parents, family members, teachers, administrators, and all of our wonderful supporters who have done everything they could to allow us to be here today, even in this unconventional way. Personally, I've been blessed with an incredible family and support system who have guided, encouraged, and motivated me to challenge myself in everything that I do and who have reminded me that hard work always pays off. I'm especially grateful for my parents and their unconditional love and support because without them, I would not have been able to achieve my goal of being in my current position delivering this message to you all. Our senior year officially began with senior photos. Some of you played sports for the last time or performed in your last player concert. We went to homecoming and we ordered our caps and gowns. After ordering our yearbooks, we stressed over coming up with the perfect senior quote. We took the SAT for the last time and applied to colleges. We made plans for after prom and graduation, the events that shape our senior year, the time spent with our friends before we go our separate ways into adulthood. And now, so much of that has been taken from us. The last day of school pictures my friends insisted on taking ironically on a random Friday in March no longer seem funny. 
My jokes about quarantine being karma for our lack of days off in March quickly subsided and were replaced with frustration, all because of a new virus that nobody saw coming. I have no intention of trivializing this horrific pandemic. There's no denying that this virus is dangerous and that it has changed the world as we know it. But we could recognize the severity of this pandemic while still feeling as though this virus has stolen our senior year. Major milestones and important events have been taken from us. It took our time with our friends, our goodbyes to our teachers, our final sports season, the list goes on and on. High school seniors are not supposed to sit at home all the time. We are supposed to be making memories to last a lifetime. And yet, there we sat for months in front of our computer screens. Our teachers and friends were reduced to tiny boxes filling our screens. As everything that we had been looking forward to for countless years disappeared, we were still expected to feel like doing our work. And although we continued to work hard until the very end, there's no denying the inevitable eye roll or heavy sigh that often followed as the Google Classroom assignments and Zoom links poured in. And now, graduation. The pomp and circumstance and our friends and family watching proudly. Graduation is a rite of passage for seniors across the country that has never been taken away, even during times of war. I must admit that I was always worried about being late to prom because of a softball playoff game or having to miss graduation for the state championship. Little did I know that a scheduling conflict would be the least of my concerns. Although our losses cannot be minimized by their substitutions, just know that we will get through this. This pandemic does not take away from all of our accomplishments, and we should still be proud of all that we have achieved over these past four years. The first 18 years of our lives have been bookended by tragedies. We were born in the aftermath of the tragedy of 9-11, and now we are graduating during a pandemic. Undoubtedly, our lives have been shaped by these tragic events, but we are resilient and we have matured beyond our years. In the uncertainty of this time, one thing is certain. Our class will be prepared for anything thrown at us. If not for our experiences, then definitely because of our time spent at Donovan Catholic. When I think about the class of 2020, I see the future teachers, doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, and other successful professionals. Some of us may have our entire futures mapped out, while others may have only vague ideas or even no clue at all. Whatever the case may be, I have faith that we will all find our path and that we will be successful in our future endeavors because Donovan Catholic has prepared us in ways we cannot even begin to imagine. Beyond the scope of our academic preparedness fostered by our college preparatory environment, we've been prepared spiritually as students who have learned to live our faith. In reference to our mission statement, the close-knit community and Donovan family has inspired us to respect and serve others. There's no doubt in my mind that Donovan Catholic has prepared myself and my classmates for the future. Knowing that we are prepared for the future, we should not invalidate our dreams by being afraid to follow them. In the wise words of Christopher Reeve, so many of our dreams at first seem impossible, then they seem improbable, and then when we summon the will, they soon become inevitable. Endings are a fact of life that admittedly I've always dreaded. However, as the proverb says, all good things must come to an end. The final chapter of a good book, the last note of your favorite song. Whatever it may be, saying goodbye is never easy, but today is one of those days. Although it feels like we said goodbye quite a while ago, today we officially say goodbye to the place that we called home. And even though we are leaving the comfort of familiarity and going our separate ways, we will always carry the memories that we have made with us as Donovan Catholic will be a part of who we are forever. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and God bless the class of 2020. It is my honor to present the valedictorian award to Victoria Federico. It's my pleasure to introduce the director of Donovan Catholic High School, Father Scott Schaefer. To those of you who know me well, you can attest to the fact that I have a love of words. I really do. The gift of language enables us to communicate with others. We share knowledge, our feelings, and thoughts. With words, we can articulate contracts and licenses. We spell out with great exactness the various aspects of our lives. We use words spoken and sung to express and celebrate our relationship to God. Today, you're listening to words thoughtfully composed and eloquently offered by your classmates on this occasion of your graduation from Donovan Catholic. In fact, in this time of pandemic, when we don't have the luxury of physical proximity, I believe more than ever we've been called upon to give voice 
to our thoughts, to communicate more clearly with one another, using more than the easy shorthand of texts and sound bites and emojis. And to that end, it falls upon me to offer you, the class of 2020, my thoughts, my concerns, and desires for you, using words that will communicate the depth of what I am feeling for you as you journey forth from our Donovan Catholic family with our blessing. Each year during Advent and Christmas, the church offers us a reading that at times might disconcert us. It's the reading of the genealogy of Jesus. It's found in both the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke. It's a long list. In Matthew, it starts with Abraham. In Luke, it starts with Adam. And it takes us one by one, denoting the descendant line that brings the reader all the way up to the birth of Jesus. That passage telling who begat whom concludes with this. So all the generations from Abraham to David were 14 generations. And from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the deportation to Babylon to the Christ, 14 generations. Now, historically, it's been a question for the ages. Who am I? Where do I come from? Why am I the way that I am? Ancestry.com and other similar type services process tens of thousands of DNA requests to help provide answers to those same questions. So let's bring this in a little closer. As I look at you, class of 2020, I see the younger generation. And I imagine when you look at me, you see me as someone from the older generation. I, I don't see myself that way, but actually, sociologists and cultural anthropologists have categorized generations by different names for years. My parents were part of what we call the greatest generation, the World War II era folks. I happen to belong to the baby boomers, that generation that was born between 1944 and 1964. I don't like to admit it, but we were also labeled as being a little self-involved, earning us the nickname of the me generation. After us comes Gen X. Generation X was born between 1965 and 1979. This is probably your parents' generation. Following them are Gen Y, or the millennials, that were born between 1980 and 1994. That brings us to you now, whom sociologists tell us are called Generation Z, or the I generation, I, small I, like the Apple, uh, the iPads, iPods, all of those things. Well, with all this talk and all these labels, I'd rather look at where you are right now. To be honest, I've always felt that these generation labels fall short of the mark in really capturing an era or a group. Back to that genealogy that I mentioned earlier, the word generation comes from the verb to generate. When I looked for the definition, it defines generate as to bring into existence, such as to procreate, to beget, or to originate. I want to say this to you, young men and women, that I believe you will be defined by the special circumstances in which you find yourself today. Sociologists and historians may write that the class of 2020 was the class of the COVID-19 quarantine, or as I mentioned before, the I generation, who abruptly ended their schooling in virtual classrooms. But as people of faith, we view history through a different lens. And so 
we will forever remember you, the class of 2020, as the regeneration. To regenerate something is to change radically and for the better, to generate or produce anew. I say this because you are the ones that God is calling at this time in history. God's calling you at this time to breathe new life into a world gasping for breath. You are the ones God is calling to regenerate a world in desperate need of physical and spiritual healing. So on this day, as you go forth to the march of pomp and special circumstance, we look to you with hope. We make this prayer. May God grant you the wisdom and courage to renew your commitment to walk with faith, not fear. To recreate a world where all people are valued, cherished, and loved. To reevaluate priorities according, according to what serves the common good. To rebuild broken relationships remembering that forgiveness heals, to replant seeds of restraint, retreat, and repose into the busyness of daily life, to retrace your steps and give thanks for all who have led you to this moment, to reopen your heart to mystery and astonishment so that you may walk humbly with God, to retell the story of Jesus in word and in deed so that you may give witness to hope. To remember that new life is often born in the darkest of times, the darkest of places. So may the God who loved you into being continue to inspire you to use your in unique gifts to be the regeneration of our world according to his will. Amen. God bless you, the class of 2020. The Donovan Catholic community has established several awards to recognize distinguished members of each graduating class. Our first award is the Griffin Award. The school's mascot is the griffin. This mythical creature, half bird, half animal, is usually represented as having the head, beak, and wings of an e eagle with the body and legs of a lion. The griffin symbolizes vigilance, swiftness, loyalty, and strength. In our Christian tradition, the griffin suggests Christ's twofold nature. The eagle portion represents his divinity and the lion portion signifies his humanity. Each year, we bestow the Griffin Award on two outstanding athletes, one male and one female, who demonstrate the qualities of sportsmanship, exemplary character, as well as athletic and academic achievement. This year's Griffin Awards go to Kayla Ronson, and Kale Rankin. The Reverend Monsignor Donovan Spirit Award was established in memory of our founder, Monsignor Lawrence Donovan. Faculty and staff select one male and one female student who exhibit cheerfulness, sincerity, courtesy, and school loyalty. These individuals truly reflect the principles found in our mission statement and philosophy. They represent the very best qualities of the senior class. This year's Reverend Monsignor Donovan Spirit Awards go to Sidney Krajewski and Jacob Marukas. Our next award is the Bishop George W.R. Medal. 
George W.R. was born in Newark, New Jersey, and completed his theological studies in Rome at the Pontifical North American College. He was ordained to the priesthood on July 29, 1928. He later earned a doctorate in sacred theology in 1929. On January 28, 1950, Father a Bishop R. was appointed the seventh Bishop of Trenton by Pope Pius XII. During his tenure, he increased the number of Catholics in our diocese from 300,000 to 850,000. He founded 50 parishes and dedicated 100 new churches, 90 schools, and over 60 other buildings. After 29 years as bishop, R retired as the longest serving bishop of Trenton. The Bishop R Medal is awarded each year to a student in the senior class who has given service to church, school, and community and who exemplifies the Christian spirit in everyday life. This year's Bishop George W.R. Award is given to Mary Holler. And it is with great pride that we now present to you the Donovan Catholic graduating class of 2020. Christopher James Aldrich Hope Vanessa Amoroso I want to thank my mom, my brother, my dogs, and my family for all your love and support throughout my schooling years to get me where I am. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it! Giovanna Isabella Antunes to my family and friends, thank you so much for the love and support, and congrats to the class of 2020. Michael Vincent Artali. Trevor Asanza. Luke Charles Barlett. Carson Fitzgerald Barry. Catherine Basso Taliana Bell Thank you, Donovan Catholic, for a great four years. Victoria Ashley Benish As I graduate today, I'd like to thank my parents, friends, and teachers for all their love and support. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Christian Jacob Berg Brianna Renee Bott I can't believe high school's already over. It's been such a fun four years and I've made so many friends that I'll never forget. And just thank you to everyone who's made these four years just so incredible. Ronan Alexander Bova I am grateful and blessed for the lifelong friends I have made through Donovan Catholic. Love you, Mom and Dad. Good luck, Class of 2020. Adamaris R. Bovazo. Jeffrey Christopher Bowen, Jr. Hey, Class of 2020. I just want to say congratulations for completing these past four years, and I wish you all the best of luck for your future life. John Lewis Bono Brittany Danielle Burns Thomas Joseph Buxton Sophia Ray Cahill Isabella Marie Calavano Nicholas Joseph Calvetto Brandon John Cancel Caitlin Grace Capalupo Thank you to everyone who made these past four years so memorable. I will miss all the friendships I've made and wish everyone the best of luck in college. 
Jeffrey Brian Case. Haley Rose Cassidy. I would like to thank my parents and teachers for their endless support and making me who I am today. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and I wish you much success in your futures. Isabella Nicole Castillo. Hi, I'm Isabella Castillo, and I would like to thank my friends and family for making my experience at Donovan a memorable one. Now, off to Georgian Court University to make some more memories. Gustavo Chacon Caballero. Nathaniel Thomas Sayak. Hi, I'm Nate Sayak, and I just want to say thank you to everyone out there that's helped me through Donovan, family, friends, faculty, and staff. Keep it real. Gaitiana Sino. Ariana Alexis Cipolita. Ryan Clark Leah Elizabeth Clevenger David Jeffrey Hua Colgate I would like to thank my parents for all that they've done for me. Ricardo Colado Castillo Tristan Michael Conger Melanie Elizabeth Cook I would like to thank my family for their support and to the Donovan Catholic faculty and staff for an amazing four years. I'm headed to Montclair State University to study education. Christopher T. Corman Congratulations class of 2020. I'm out of here. Michael Christopher Crawford. You, Mom and Dad and David, and all the family members who have helped me throughout the years. I'm excited to go to college in the fall. I love you all. Declan Ryan Davis. Lindsay Danielle DeLuca. I would like to thank my family, the friends I made along the way, and the Donovan Catholic community. In the fall, I will be attending Westchester University as a nutrition and dietetics major. Anthony De Silva. Christian Arthur Dyes. Heather Rose De Bartolomeo. Nicholas G. Di Dominica, Frank Dominic Dielli, Patrick Bailey Dowling. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Ethan De Souza. Emily Brooke DuPont Lindsay Helen Dye Sean Francis Egan Xavier Gregory Ellis Olivia Lee Elms Hi, I'm Olivia Elms from be attending Montclair State University. I want to thank my family, friends, and teachers for helping me become the person I am today. Congrats, class of 2020. Michelle May English. Christopher Lauren Ferringer. Michael Gerardo Farinaccio. Thank my mom and dad for helping me continue my education and move forward in the next chapter of my life. Ralph Alexander Fideli. Victoria Ann Federico. Thank you to my friends and family and congratulations to the class of 2020. 
Olivia Jane Fink. Thank you to my family, my friends, and the whole Donovan Catholic community. I'll be attending Stockton University in the fall on a career path to occupational therapy. Mark Christopher Finnegan. Thank you to my friends and family for the constant love and support that made high school such an awesome experience. Daniel J. Fleming. Michael A. Frateroli. Cassandra Christine Gaita. Stephen Jonathan Gaffney. Aniela Nicoletta Galleno. Christopher M. Gallegos. Carly Gantner. I'm Carly Gantner and I am part of the class of 2020. Go Griffs! Karina Gaskins. Tara G. Geldhauser. Christian Paul Joseph Gillick. Samantha Megan Gilmore. Catherine Marie Ginnex. Sean Gerard Grant. Best of luck to all my friends heading to college in the fall. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for always being there for me. Faith Greenberg. Joseph Robert Hanneman. I am Joe Hanneman from Donovan Catholic, graduating class of 2020. Jared J. Helstowski. I came to Donovan my sophomore year, and I can honestly say it made a difference. Go Griffs. Fallon Cassandra Hilly. Thank you so much to my family and friends, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Francis Joseph Howald. Mary Ann Nicole Holler. Congrats to the class of 2020. Thanks for the memories, Donovan. Haley Jean Hopkins. Kristen Amanda Horn. Mackenzie Hughes. Carolina Yarusevichuta. Thank you to my parents who have sacrificed so much for me. Ashnida, yes. Damian Lewis Johnson. Stephanie Mary Jones. Catherine Mary Jorgensen. Eric Juarez. Galenazi Gelati. It's for the entire Donovan Catholic community. Alexandra Nicole Karchik. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for everything that you guys do for me. I love you so much. Good luck with me through college. Jada Desiree Kearney. Emily Sarah King. Gianna Klimakowski. Isabella Klimakowski. Emily Ann Knapp. I am so grateful to the teachers, my family, my friends, everybody who supported me along the way. And I wouldn't have wanted to spend these past four years with any other class. Congratulations. Sydney Rhonda Krajewski. Dana Marie Kraska. 
Athena Kyriakoulis, Benjamin Lampinen, Andre Laney, Michaela Ann Laplaca, Jack Thomas Larkin. Chloe Anna Larkin, Taryn M. Larson, Lucas Jude Lorienti. Can't believe it's finally time. Thanks to all the teachers and friends who helped me along the way to get to this point. I'm glad I'm finally here. Michael George Lemansky. Liam Andrew Leonard, Dongan Lee. This is Anthony Lee. I'm going to Rutgers University, Saint Thomas Education Town, New Jersey, Saint Lee. Peng Lin. Once again. I'm so lucky and grateful to have such great family, friends, and teachers. Thank you. Jinglin Liu, Vincent Lofredo the Third, Jasmine Elise Lombardi, Nicole Lopez. Alexis Rosbella Lorenzo. We thank Donovan for the friendships, events, and memories that will stay with us forever. The best is yet to come for the class of 2020. Liam Justin Lynch. Jacob Michael Marukis. Dean Spiro Martin. Chloe Carolyn McBride, Christopher McKernan, Christian Charles McElroy. Hey, it's the meat. Thanks, teachers and parents, everyone. Going to Alvernia play baseball. Go Wolves. Nicholas Ryan Merritt. Nicole Catherine Milliman. Hi, my name is Nicole Milliman, and I'd like to say thank you to my mom and my dad for all their love and support. Alan Michael Maharez. Alexa Moore. Ashley Patricia Morales. Abigail Grace Morsh, Caitlin May Mulcahy, May Anna Mullen, Rian Francine Nagamatsu, Luis Eduardo Navarrete. Emma Newman, Uyen Lan Wen. Hi, I'm Lexi. I just want to say thank you for everything. Thank you to my family, my friends, and everyone in Donovan. Thank you so much. Nicholas Novakowski, Teresa Marie Noonan. I just wanted to thank my family, my friends, and my teachers for helping me make it this far. You guys are everything to me, and I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Nicholas Oliveri, Kaylee Pardo, Courtney Marie 
Paris. I want to thank my entire family for always being there for me and supporting me, and I want to thank my parents for giving me the best education possible. I'm excited for the next chapter of my life, and congrats to the class of 2020. Olivia Farrell Parlow. Hey guys,、um, I'm super sad that we're not graduating together, but、um, I really love you all, and I wish you the best of luck. Congrats. Jorge Hendricus Peterson. Jonathan Francis Palillo, Nathan Gabriel B. Ramos, Kale Rankin, Tyler Rempo, Isabel Francis Rios. Trevor Thomas Robbins, Anissa Simone Roberts, Ryan John Rolak. Thanks, mom and dad. Kayla Marie Ronson, Madeline Patricia Roth. We, We thank Donovan for the friendships, events, and memories that will stay with us forever. The best is yet to come for the class of 2020. Austin Joseph Sable, Evan Edward Santos. Hi, my name is Evan Santos, and I just want to thank my family and friends for this very special. High school experience, and next year I'll be majoring in architecture at Penn State. Lauren Shaley, Gabrielle Melinda Schucht, Joseph Michael Setti. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers who have helped me these past four years, and I'd like to wish good luck to the class of 2020. Randon Letario Shapiro, Catherine Shin Shives, Elio Peter Siragusa, Joshua Stephen Scotus, Nicholas William Slavin. Ava Christina Smith, Jordan Jolene Smith. Hi, I'd like to thank my parents, grandparents, family, and friends for helping me get accepted into the University of Florida. Go Gators! Jade Marie Summers. Thank you, Donovan Catholic, for an amazing last two years of high school, and thank you, Mom and Dad, for this opportunity. Roll Tide. Mara Elizabeth Stapleton, Matthew Stasek, Alexandra Stavropoulos. Thank you to the friends and family who have helped me along the way. Congratulations to class of 2020 at Fordham University. Here I come. Anthony Michael Steed. Hi, my name is Anthony Steed. I'm attending Roger Williams University in the fall, and I want to say thank you to my family for helping me get there. John T. Stout. Ashley Elizabeth Strain. Hunter Sebastian Strenkowski. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Also, thank you to my parents and family for sending me to the Army Catholic. Michelle Rose Ann Stubbs. And I'm really honored to be a part of the class of 2020. Thank you so much to my family who's encouraged me along the way. And I'm going to be attending Stockton University in the fall. Go Osprey! Alexis Tamborello, 
Dominic Tangretti. I'd like to thank my friends and family, my coaches and teachers. Shout out to my boy, Mr. Heitman, and congrats to the class of 2020. Tatiana Tatar. Elijah A. Taylor. Isabella Villardi Tadora. I wanted to say thank you, Mom and Dad. You guys are my biggest supporters. Uh, Grandma and Poppy, my biggest cheerleaders, and all my family and friends. This wouldn't have been possible without you, so thank you guys so much. Riley Titansky. Keon Jalen Torres. John Brian Triolo. Jordan Charles Tro. Povilas M. Vavalovichis. Claire Susan Valvano. Francesca Rose Vanesco. Antonia Marie Virilli. Madeline Patricia Walmar. Thank you, Donovan faculty, friends, and family for making Donovan an amazing four years, and I'm excited to be attending the University of Rhode Island. Kexin Wang. Every ending is a new beginning. Um, wish we all the best in college and good luck. Taylor James Warwick. Matthew John Lapsley Whedon. Go. Hello, I'm Matt Whedon. I just want to congratulate the class of 2020. Good luck in the future. I want to thank my friends and family for the support and love throughout the years. Catherine Mary Wyland. Yuehan Wu. I'm very happy to spend my four year high school life at Donovan Catholic. Xinyi Zhu. Thanks to my parents and my friends for their help all the time, and congratulations, Class 2020. Haowan Zhang. Yuliang Zhang. Hi, this is Eddie, who got a graduate from Dallas Catholic. Right here, I want to thank you for my teacher's hard work. At the same time, I appreciate everybody's company. Thank you, guys. Ho Sung Chow. What's up, guys? I'm gonna graduate from Dallas Catholic today. I just want to say I had a really amazing experience here. Wish me all the best at the University of Washington. Jiki Zhang. Zhe Ching Zhou. I am very happy to be graduate. I want to say thank you to my mother, my father, my friends, my teachers, and my host family for all the support and good memories. Be a Kuai Lo! Jiaxin Zhuo. Hi everyone, this is Kathy Zhuo. I want to say thank you to all those who have been. It's making me feel like at home at Solomon Catholic. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have graduated from high school and now move on to follow your dreams. I invite senior class president Katie Shives forward. Katie will symbolically lead you, class of 2020, in the rite of passage moving her tassel from right to left. Welcome, class of 2020, to the Donovan Alumni. <laughs> 